So the JBL PortiBox Ultimate is a very large and a very loud portable Bluetooth speaker that quite honestly is overkill for home use and it is entering commercial level events. However, if you're somebody that has more money than sense, let's see what one PortiBox Ultimate sounds like compared to two PortiBox Ultimates. Now, regarding pricing, a single JBL Party Box Ultimate has a retail price of $1,600, which is a lot. And for comparison's sake, there's the Party Box 710, which has a retail price of $800, and there's the JBL Party Box 310, which has a retail price of $550. And I feel that these two speakers are better suited for at home use. However, if you are crazy enough to get two Party Box Ultimates, you're gonna have a grand total of $3,200. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these speakers up, they'll be linked down below. Or you can check out that new YouTube shopping button thing. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head approved hat, linked down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming, and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat, and look out for more designs coming soon. And also, please remember to hit that like button, and let's get subscribed. All right, so before we actually get into the sound test, I do want to cover some ground rules. And now first off, with the PortiBox Ultimate, right now you can only pair it up to another PortiBox Ultimate, and your two speakers are going to play in left and right stereo mode, and your light features are going to play in sync. The only problem is you need to have a Wi-Fi in order to do this. So if you do plan on taking your two Party Box Ultimates to an area where there isn't any Wi-Fi, then you're going to have to physically daisy chain them to one another. So your two speakers are going to play in sync, but your light features aren't going to be in sync. And personally, I really do feel that this over-reliance of Wi-Fi on the Party Box Ultimates is a problem. But also keep in mind, you cannot wirelessly pair your Party Box Ultimates to any of JBL's other party boxes like a 710, 310, 110, or Encore. You're gonna have to physically daisy chain them up with their audio outjacks. And also keep in mind that the Party Box Ultimate cannot be wisely paired up to any of JBL's smaller Party Boost speakers like a Boombox 3, a Boombox 2, an Extreme 3, a Charge 5, a Pulse 5, a Pulse 4, a Flip 5, or a Flip 6. Unless you're using the Wi-Fi version of the JBL Charge 5 or Boombox 3 and if you're using an Ultimate because these speakers do have Wi-Fi support. Now, before we jump into the sound test, we are going to talk about the speaker setups here. Now, each Ultimate has an output of up to 1,100 watts. Each Ultimate has a dual front mode firing woofers with an exhaust port that shoots out the back. Each Ultimate also has a dual front mode firing tweeters, which is standard for party boxes. But what is new here is that both of these Ultimates do have front mode firing mid-range drivers, which is going to help give you better definition in the mids, and this is new for party box here. But with all that being said, we're going to jump into the sound test here. Now, the speakers are playing at 75% volume, and they're both set with their bass boost set to deep. Take me off to heaven. 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 Yeah, she got me reaching still. Nothing to stop me falling. Who knew that love could kill me?
So like we have just seen, two party box ultimates is going to get louder and have more bass than a single party box ultimate. That's pretty self-explanatory. However, from a performance standpoint, a single party box ultimate is already good enough for, let's say, a commercial event. Maybe you have a small restaurant, a single party box is going to be able to easily fill a small restaurant with music. Or if you're somebody that's having a large event of let's say 60 or more people, a single party box ultimate is going to be more than enough for an event of that size. But if you were to get a second party box ultimate, then your two speakers are going to be able to cover an even a larger area with music. It's gonna get louder and it's going to have more bass. However, with the Party Box Ultimate, you're not just getting more sound out of it when compared to other Party Boxes. You're also getting better sound out of it because it does have better detail in the mids thanks to the new mid-range drivers in addition to the dual woofers and dual tweeters that you'll find on other Party Boxes out there like with the Party Box 710. So I can't say this enough, a single party box ultimate is already overkill for at home use. It is going to be better suited for like, let's say a small restaurant, it's good for events. And a second party box ultimate, honestly, I don't think it has any place at home. It's really gonna be strictly used for commercial events. That's my opinion though. But also keep in mind, when you have your two party box ultimates wirelessly paired to one another, your two light features are going to play in sync. And you can also go into the JBL one app and you can also customize these light features. You can either choose from different lighting modes and you can also choose what color you want these light features to be. However, if you're going to be using these party boxes in an area where you don't have Wi-Fi, then you can still use them while they're daisy chained to one another. However, they're not going to play in left right stereo mode they're only going to play in sync and the light features aren't going to be in sync whatsoever and I don't know if you've noticed, but even when these ultimates are paired to one another over a Wi-Fi connection, their light features aren't perfectly in sync. The second ultimate, there's always a slight delay in the light feature, but there is no delay when it comes to the sound. But overall, this was just a quick demo of what two party box ultimates sound compared to a single party box ultimate. Now, I can't say this enough. A single party box ultimate is already overkill for at home use. It's going to be better suited for commercial events. For at home use, personally, I really do recommend the party box 710 because it is smaller, it is more affordable, and it's not as overkill. But if you have more money than sense, then you can always go with the Party Box Ultimate because it is a lot of dumb fun. But if you're somebody that's really crazy, you can always just go ahead and get a second Party Box Ultimate and get your two speakers to play in stereo mode. But personally, I do feel that having two Party Box Ultimates is going to be better suited if you're somebody that has a small restaurant or if you're trying to host an event of some kind. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.